welcome back to the channel guys. If you guys are watching this video as it drops, that means it's 1230 Pacific Center Time on January 3rd, which means the website just went back live, sweaters are available, we got the new Committed Crew like slap style stickers available, and we got the old fashioned Committed Crew logo stickers available. So go right now before it sells out. Last time we sold out in like an hour, we sold the whole website out in like an hour, which was absolutely unbelievable. Like I never thought that could happen. So I'm expecting this one to go very, very well. You guys know I've amped you up on these sweaters for a long time. Pause this video real quick, go grab or something off the website. And then come back and we'll enjoy the video. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys just successfully got something from the website. If not, if it's all sold out, I'm really, really sorry. But this summer, what I can tell you is I'm doing a lot of like, I would just call it like touring. I'm gonna go to like a lot of like the driven shows and a lot of local shows and a lot of state shows. And I, I have a section on the website and once things start to be confirmed, you'll see like a meet us tab and I will put everything I'm going to in that meet us tab. But like, I'm gonna go to Japan this year. Like this year's gonna be nuts. So if you didn't get anything, don't worry because the amount of of merch I'm gonna have to be making to keep up with all these these tours and dates and stuff that I'm gonna be doing is, is gonna be crazy and I guarantee you you guys will get some stuff. Anyways, what we're gonna be doing in today's video, I ordered this on Wish, it was $20. So I, I, I know, here's the disclaimer. This isn't really a disclaimer, this is just me talking really fast. I'm gonna speed it up so it sounds like a disclaimer, but it's not actually gonna be very much of a disclaimer. This is just me talking like I said. So something about this, you know, blah, 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 the Civic's really slow and uh, back to normal speed. I know when you get cheap short shifters, they are known to break. However, this is not a drag car and I don't really slam gears around inside of it. The point of this build is to test out cheap stuff and see how garbage it really is. So yes, this is a Wish short throw shifter. We're never gonna know just how garbage it is till we test it. What I'm curious to see is you can get like the mag and racing ones and stuff but but i want to know how much shorter this even is so the main thing for me is i want to pull that shifter out and see how much we're even saving on this so that's what we're doing today also you guys were commenting in my last video about the blow off valve that if i take the spring out of this blow off valve and i put it in the new blow off valve it might actually work which is stupid of me not to have thought of that um, so I'm also going to do that. I'm going to pull the spring out of here, put the spring in there, and hopefully because this spring is softer, that one will will blow off. I guess we could just use this frame as like a precedent on how long these throws are going to be. So this is just between third and fourth. That's what we're looking at right now. Oh. The amount of like janky bunk wiring you'll find in, in probably most people that have heavy builds, like with a lot and a lot of mods, is, is crazy. Like you can make a car look super clean, but as soon as you dig into it, it's not a disaster. Like it's wired properly. There's just a, a lot of wiring. I'm gonna have to drop the exhaust too. If you look like right, right up there is what I'm going for. And that thing drops like directly above that exhaust pipe. It's all custom, right? So the way that this guy welded this one in, I think we're gonna have to drop it. You guys also comment that you want more lights underneath the car. So boy, you already know, I got you an undercar light. Don't even worry. 2019 boys, we're lighting it up. <laughs> than I'd like to admit. I finally got it off. The problem that I had was there's like these little welded, they're like little square heads that are welded up here with um, the nut on the bottom and they both popped off like the welds cracked. So it was spinning. I had these vice grips and like took me like 25 minutes to figure that one out, but it is off. Let me show you, let me show you the difference between these two guys. Okay, so this is the new one. This is the current one. They're like kind of got a different bend going on up here. Ignore that part, like aside from that, I thought that this gap would be shorter but I guess the, the what makes sense is that if you like rotate this one, we put this right here. To get this bottom part to move, to touch that black thing from like a, a stopped position, let's just do this. We have to move it this far. So we'll put like the screwdriver, say here. That's how far it takes from, like from stopped to rotate it to whatever, we'll say a gear. And if we do this one, if I put the ball back on that little knot in the wood and I rotate this new one, it's not gonna hit the exact same spot, obviously, because it's longer, but you'll see like right there to get it to hit where that would be. It is, a, it's, you know, that much shorter. I know I didn't really need to teach you guys that. You guys probably know that. That's not, I mean, that's probably not the best explanation that's ever been given. That's just my, I looked at it and I was like, uh, I don't really get it. So I explained it for you guys in case you guys don't. The rest should be pretty simple. It's just a reversal of what I did to take it out.
Everything underneath is all put back together. I put the car back down on the ground and it's no longer up in the air. Before I go and start reassembling things, what I want to do is just take a quick peek. I shouldn't have piled all this crap here. Make sure that the shifter works because I don't want to put it all back together and have it not work. Let's see our moment of truth here. Oh, 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 oh. That is such a tight gear spacing. Definitely works, boys. There's like no, it feels notchier now. I'm not sure why it does that. I know that's a thing that happens. I don't know why. It feels notchier. It does not feel so sloppy and loose. I think this looks pretty cool with the blue, whatever you want to call this. I don't even know what you would call that. Shifter, like your shifter arm. When you order these things, especially on Wish, it's so hard to know that like all these things are going to be the exact same color. Gotta love when it happens. Trust me, I don't ship like this. I'm just trying to do it so you guys can see the full movement from like the top down. That is good. I'm actually stoked. It seems like it's actually gonna work. I mean, it, it's going in and out of gears, which is like the key. How sick is that? How it comes out blue and then it stays blue. Now what I wanna do really quick is just pop the top off of this pop the top off of this one and swap the springs because uh, basically from all the comments and all the research that I've done after yesterday's video or well two days ago for you is the spring in there is is harder and the spring in here is softer so I'm just gonna try and swap the springs see if that works if not I'll just put this thing back on this one is actually really sick because if you go and watch the first fast it's exactly the same sound that Brian's car makes I think that's why we all have like this little sweet spot for this one because it it sounds exactly like Brian's at the same time it kind of does sound like a squeaky door Ooh. <laughs> dude what the heck so I guess we're gonna learn how this works today they look the same, but the thickness is different. It's just, it's hard to tell because they're one silver, one's black. This one is way thicker than this one. So this, I don't know, I don't I don't know what they're rated for. It doesn't say anything like anywhere on them. They're just springs, but if you just look, this one, super easy to squish. This one, a little bit harder to squish. Hopefully it's as easy as just putting this guy in here. If you guys have watched more than half of a video, you know that when we do things on the Civic, they never go as planned. It sits straighter too, which is weird. I'm just noticing as I'm getting in the car. This used to kind of sit on like a backwards angle and now it sits on like a straight up and down angle, which is kind of cool. Wow, I can tell you guys after my very first, first to second shift, this thing is tight. It's not, I'm sure there's shorter shifters. Like I, I know for a fact that even like Derpy's shifter is shorter, but for a Wish shifter, this thing, it, it did a pretty good job, I think. Okay, first thoughts, this shifter is actually pretty sick. I'm, I'm pretty happy with like the feel and the fact that it actually gets the car into every gear. It's not grinding, it's not, I don't know what problems would come from having this, but I just know that it isn't creating any problems for me. But I did go up in a little bit of boost and we only got to about two pounds, which means I got to tighten this blow off valve a little bit. Did that work? Oh. It's making like this really weird, almost like a like a stutter. It almost sounds like it's surging, but it's not. It's just going Choo! It's hard for me to get it to be super, super loud for you guys. No, dude, it's just not doing it. It just does like this little weird flutter and then a little hissing sound and it makes me sad. I, I don't think the video could hear it that well. It's hard to hear, like the car gets really loud and this thing's not really blowing off. It's just opening, which is fine. It's still working. I'm not saying it's not working. No, we don't want it to be quiet. We You want to hear it. You want to hear the, the turbo, right? So we got to hear the blow off sounds. We can't have a, a blow off with no blow off sounds. So I'm gonna have to take the springs, put it back in that one, do a little game of flip flop and make this one work. Cause it, it was working fine. I just. I figured I'd try a Wish one, so. As far as the Wish short shifter, that is a huge yes. I'm actually really stoked. I, I had no idea what to expect. I've never had a short shifter before. And like I said, I'm not a race car driver. I, I'm, it's just for me for fun, but it feels a lot more like legit. It feels like more of a race car. Everything's tighter. Everything is better. Maybe like if you get like a super sequential replica one, that might work. It might sound properly, but this one, it just doesn't. That is all I have for you guys today. I'm just gonna switch those blow-off valves later on. I gotta go do some inventory and stuff for the website for the big drop tomorrow. I hope you guys partake, partake. Hope you guys participated in the drop. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for every single person who helped support me by contributing and buying something on these merch drops. Like I said, this year I wanna do a crazy new 
merch thing that I've, I've never done it before. I've never done any of this before. Everything you're seeing is my first time doing everything. So I want to try some new things out with the merch. And the biggest thing I can tell you guys is if you want to support me, if you guys, if you guys want to know the best way to support me to help me make money to give you guys these videos, because that's that's the way it comes down to it, right? Like I'm not greedy. I don't have a million different things. I don't try and do a million different things. I just, I like making videos and it happens to pay, which is awesome. But if you guys want to help me and be like, the best way to join the committed crew is just watch the ads. If you guys watch the ads, I get paid just a little bit more. And if all of you guys just watch the ads all the way through, I make a little bit more money. I can do a little bit more fun stuff with the cars. That is all. Thank you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay committed.